Hey guys, what's up? Welcome everybody back to a brand new video on the channel. So today is going to be how to rank up very fast in Black Ops Cold War Zombies and obtain that sweet, precious Ethereum Crystal. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with how Black Ops Cold War Zombies works, you essentially need a lot of Ethereum Crystal to upgrade all of the peripherals in your menu, such as weapon classes, perks, and everything of that nature. To be at your best in Cold War Zombies, you need two things. You need a lot of XP so that you unlock these things and can even upgrade them in the first place and then you need a lot of the currency ethereum crystal to uh, manifest set upgrade so today we're going to be going through a little strategy that i found to farm a lot of ethereum crystal and it also should give you a ton of xp so it's not only helpful for ranking up fast but again uh, obtaining this crystal as efficiently as quickly as possible i'm going to show you how to set up the strat and how i run it and what tips i think would be helpful but if you guys do end up enjoying today's video i would really appreciate if you could give it a like rating make sure to subscribe if you are braided to the channel and as I'm playing this a little bit early and the game is not technically out yet the easter egg is unable to be solved and this means that anything easter egg related that will give you crystals will not be included in this video so we will just disregard that for now however if you are interested in the easter egg I'm actually going to be streaming the hunt tomorrow over on twitch so make sure to check the link in the description go follow my twitch channel and I'll see you guys for the hunt so the way I set up the strategy not only farms, again, a ton of XP and Ethereum Crystal, but also just really doubles as a relatively nice high round strategy. So th this is going to be in the spawn room, and the only thing you need to do and make sure that you have set is that you do not open the pink door in spawn. Everything else can be open, and it's going to play roughly the same, so you're good to go as far as the layout. Now, your weapons are going to be pretty straightforward. The only thing you really need is the ray gun. Uh, you can run a secondary, and that is going to help. I I am going to recommend the base wonder weapon as the elementals haven't been solved at the time of me recording this video but the elemental wonder weapon or the base version of it is not too bad as a secondary get out of jail free card it's not nearly as good as the ray gun however you're also going to want to make sure your ray gun eventually is upgraded to tier 3 because the zombies do have a health cap somewhere in this game like around the 30s or 40s or so their health seems to cap out a bit and the ray gun as long as it's fully upgraded to tier 3 should be able to take care of them with really no problem now they are gonna take a few shots to go down but again it's pretty much the best gun in the game right now my experience running this strategy comes down to a few things patience timing resource management and movement so all of your resources that you need to manage throughout this strat are going to be vitally important and if you let one slip then you increase the odds of you going down or dying by just something extremely annoying so in terms of resource management the number one thing you're going to have to watch is your armor as around 51 or 52 the super sprinters are going to come out and believe me if you're watching the gameplay and you think the zombies look abnormally fast um you're you're not tripping this is actually how quick they get when you get round 50 plus and they become like more increasing in the ratio of the horde over time so there will still be like some regularly running zombies but the more you go on the more in the horde are going to be these absolutely cracked out super sprinters it's insane the best way to combat the super sprinters is with good movement and great spacing that's what you have to do you have to put as much distance between you and the super sprinters as humanly possible because also relating to your resource management you have to manage your scraps very very precisely the cool thing about this is that uh, this strat relies a lot on the chopper gunner which is fine and it only costs 250 of the rare scrap and you might think that sounds like a lot but once you get around this this sort of round you're gonna have it within the thousands pretty much at all points and the chopper gunner should be used for a few things not only getting yourself out of a tough situation if you are about to go down and you have no other safety nets you need to pull out a chopper gunner as you will be safe also when the big toxic boss zombie spawns in you have to use a chopper gunner on them too Cannot stress how important it is to not only maintain your armor, but also using the tactical stim shots. You want to have as many on these as you as physically possible. The zombies become so ungodly aggressive that if you take any sort of semblance of damage that you're going to want to make sure you're healing right away. When you get to this round, it's going to cost you virtually no scrap at all to have at least five stim shots perpetually. So you should have no problem in maintaining that. I'm also going to oddly recommend the tomahawks for your lethals. Then 
these, you know, zombies are going to drop these from time to time. It's basically one of the only lethals that's going to be able to get you out of a very close quarter situation. If a super sprinter happens to come running out of a corner that you don't know if you can react to in time with a gun, the tomahawk is actually your your best friend that, that, that I've discovered. So let's say you're managing your resources in the strat properly. How do you go and get armor? Well, the run on this strat is pretty simple, although there are two ways that you can go about it because again maintaining armor you will die if you're not paying attention to it and you'll get swatted down the most ideal situation is that you're going to go refresh on armor at the end of a round what i do recommend is not ending the round exactly if possible but saving one zombie if you if you can it's going to make this process a lot easier as time is of the essence but you're going to have to go downstairs using this route and then go to the only armor station in existence in d machine at least of as of the time you're recording this video that might change but you have to come down here and purchase armor you need to do it as quickly as possible you don't even have to be that close to the, to the machine and you can either choose to come up this route through the rest of the medical bay as i'm doing on screen right now or you can literally go to the left of the armor machine and take the fast travel back up to the nocturne tone person and then back right out to the main center of the map where we just were both of these routes have problems though. If you choose to go through the medical bay, it can easily be overran and it can be very difficult to purchase armor if you're even slightly late and you can get swarmed if you're getting into the tighter hallways going forward. And also the fast travel is not always the best play either as if you get really unlucky spawns, a bunch of zombies will flood up from the left side coming up the stairs and you'll kind of be screwed. So you have to really make a in moment decision about which route to get back to your strategy in spawn is going to be better for you but assuming you run the strategy and, and you get comfortable enough with doing that it shouldn't be much of a problem and again the bread and butter of this strat is always having a chopper gunner on hand if, if you maintain scrap and you're going to get continue to get more scrap as you kill more zombies with chopper gunners then you should pretty much always have one in your back pocket for when you need and again they're just so unbelievably cheap compared to how often you're able to use them something kind of cool i recommend you do as well is use the chopper gunner at the table in spawn the reason you want to do this is when you come out of the chopper gunner, you have a few seconds of relief, of, of brevity that you can use to, you know, reorient yourselves. The zombies won't immediately track on you. You can use that small few seconds of mercy to buy another chopper gunner. And I found this to be unbelievably effective. Now, assuming that doesn't work for you and you still got to buy yourself some more time, I'm going to recommend the field upgrade ether shroud. This will hide you in a zombie blood for roughly 5 seconds. If you upgrade it, it'll be about 8 seconds, and this will give you more than enough time to go through those crafting menus and either build another chopper gunner or other stem shots or whatever you may need. Another thing to watch out for in this strat is your tacticals getting swapped out by just random equipment on the ground. Oftentimes, I'll try to go and use a stem shot and it'll pull out a stun grenade because I accidentally picked it up, I guess, when I was running across the map and maybe trying to reload. So that's another thing to always keep an eye on is look down to see what tactical and lethal you have. And if you do happen to get extremely lucky, every once in a while, zombies will drop a self-revive. It'll be a little purple pack. And if you don't currently have a self-revive, which can be found in the bottom left, the little one, if you don't have one of those, you got to make sure you pick it up. Or if you are a certain high enough level, you're actually able to craft it right next to the chopper gunner on the menu. So uh, again, making sure that you have lives, again, is extremely vital. Otherwise, your game can get taken down in a second. Now, you're going to get way less XP than you would if you just died out of the game, if you didn't do what the game was intended for in this sense and that is to exfil this is how you are going to maximize not only xp but the ethereum crystals that you get as well obviously every five rounds or so you're going to get an opportunity to exfil a lot of you guys already know how that works but if you don't a helicopter will be called in and you'll get about a minute and a half to wipe all of the enemies off the board and they'll be a pretty heavy spawn but honestly if you have the ray gun you have the wonder weapon and even a chopper gunner this should be no problem at all even on round like 50 or 60 plus i've not found it i've actually found those x fills to be a little bit easier than the ones you do on like 15 or 20 depending on what guns you have so from then on all i can recommend is to rinse and repeat keep doing this process and, and running these rounds for as long and, and as many times as you can and you are going to end up with an absolutely insane amount of xp and ethereum crystal you'll be upgraded before you even know it also feel free to experiment with any strat of your own or some variations on this particular strat and let me know in the comment section what works for you and what 
doesn't work. Again, I'm going to be sort of updating this as we go along. There's going to be a meta eventually that's discovered when the game fully comes out, and the Easter egg is solved that will probably grant you the most Ethereum crystal the most quickly, but the good news is that you pretty much only need to get these once for your upgrades, and it's completely permanent. So this should be the, the best like short-term solution, but I hope this was able to help a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and I also, again, will be streaming the Easter egg hunt tomorrow on Twitch, so make sure to follow that if you don't already, and I'm also going to be posting a lot more videos on this channel of like uh, guides. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the wonder weapons and I'll also have some solo Easter egg tutorials for the full main quest here very shortly on the channel as well. So a lot of cool stuff coming your way. Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not done already. But anyways, guys, I really do want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys are enjoying Cold War Zombies as much as I am. I'm looking forward to playing this a lot more and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in some future content. But anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next stream or the next video. Take it easy, everybody, and peace out.